Brian Engelman here. I want to take you through another bug out bag. Um, you know, some of these bags are designed so that you can put them on your backpack. You can hike for 40 miles. Uh, some of them are designed as a um, get home bag, uh, you know, 72 hour bag, where if you're at work and you're stranded and you gotta kind of stay out and hunker down somewhere and get creative, improvise, maybe spend a night or two in unfamiliar surroundings, but then you get yourself home. You know, th those are very important to have. Um, this bag here, this is not necessarily what that is, but it serves a lot of the same functions. However, it's probably packed a little too tight so that wearing it for extended periods of time would probably be uncomfortable. So maybe sometimes this is under the bed or in a closet or in a trunk of a car or in a, a storage unit or at a carport a garage, you know, it's a friend's house. But this has a lot of the key components that you'll need in almost any situation. So I'm going to walk you through this bag and kind of do a little bit of an inventory while we're in the process, figuring out, well, do I need this in here? Is this quadruple redundant? So let's take a look and see what we have here. Okay, so first and foremost, this is a pack. This is a pouch that I have that I have been storing to this pack, but it keeps falling off. So I got to think of another way to carry this. Maybe on the belt. You know, it does have the belt loop on it. This is a Leatherman. Leatherman kick. It's got measurements. It's got pliers. What else we got? We got an opener. You got a Phillips screwdriver, one knife, flatheads. Well, actually, what is this? Sorry, I don't really know what the heck we use this for. Alright, so leave in the comments. What is this designed for? Sorry, I don't know. I'm like your, maybe your average. <laughs> camper or preparedness enthusiast. Maybe I'm not writing books on it just yet. So I know a lot of things, but there's also gaps in the knowledge. I think knowledge is key, knowledge is power, and I think is it, you know if you're going to have a choice between having a bunch of toys or you're going to have the knowledge for how to use them, I think I'd go with the knowledge any day of the week. So ask questions, leave comments, leave suggestions, tell me what you think could be changed. Tell us an idea that you had. That's the point. These are conversations. I love these bug out bag videos. Um, this is something else that I got. This is Dead End Survival Company. This is a sterile tourniquet. So hiking emergency kit. It's sterile. So I'm not going to open it up and I'm not going to practice on it, but I do need to practice obtaining that skill. So I probably want to find a way to put that in the med kit um, over here. So let's get to the bags. All right, so as I mentioned, this is part of a contained unit. You just kind of grab and go. Um, but this is the an, another pouch that's attached to the outside. So if you go ahead and unstrap that, we're going to just delve into the components of what's in here. Because I think what we were trying to do was if you got to grab one smaller bag and just go, you leave all that stuff behind and you just take this. Or maybe we turn into a med pouch. But that's the point. The more often you go through your gear, the more comfortable you're going to be remembering, okay, do I have batteries for this? Does this need to be changed out for expiration date for the food? Oh, I didn't remember to take put, to put that thing back in. I, I forgot that I took it out. So all of those things are very important when you're putting together your kit. It's only as good, you know, having a guitar doesn't make you a musician any more than having... Um, wait, how do they say that? Now, now I'm thinking George Bush. Fool me once. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, shame on, uh, shame on you. Uh, fool me twice, uh, ain't gonna get fooled again. <laughs> um, no, what is it? Having a guitar doesn't make you a musician any more than having a bug out bag makes you a preparedness expert. You know, there's many different ways to say that, so I kind of jumbled them all together at once as it was coming out of my mouth a few seconds ago. But the point is, this is only good if you know how to use it. It's only good if you know where things are in, a, in an emergency. If it's dark and you're reaching, you know it's in this pouch. So this is the time to practice. That's one of the best parts about going on trips or going camping or doing stuff like that. It gives you an active opportunity to practice and see, you know, it, like I said, let's see what's in here. I don't recall everything off the top of my head, so this is a good refresher course. Okay, 
Let's dig it. All right, so this is a pretty cool bag. I do like this. Let's kind of go through what we have here. On the outside, tucked in here, is a flashlight. Does she work? Yes, she is working. Do you know SOS, by the way? That's a quiz. Type it in the comments. SOS, what is it? Dashes and dots? Do you know it off the top of your head? Because you gotta... You know, stuff like that. So, anyhow, I left that hanging there because if there's an emergency, I want to quickly just reach around and grab something so that I can see. You know, that was the purpose of having that in that location. On the side pouch, plastic canteen, cliff bar, check the expiration dates. Yeah, I think it's time to eat this one. <laughs> I'll trade those out. If you're having a bad day, how about some six hour power? None of that five hour energy for me. Mm -mm. Another one. I'll assume that it's past its prime and needs to be eaten as well. But, you know, you're not going to get sick from it. From stuff like that. Some things will live way past uh, the, the best buy date. You know, if, if you wait too long on milk, you're going to get curdled, rotten funkiness. If you wait on a cliff bar or some of these things, it might be dry. It might not have the right texture, but it's totally edible. It's totally fine. Um, right here, this is a pretty interesting one. This has a car battery um, charger here. I'm sorry, it's um, for the car lighter. The car lighter adapter can go in here. Um, this is a flashlight, and perhaps most importantly, it's crank. So if you're in an emergency and you have that adapter for a phone, you know, that could come in just very crucial. It will also blink for you. You know, whatever. It, it can get kind of bright. Sorry about that if it's too bright on the eyes. Um, but another, f oh, five hour energy. Clearly I, I made the upgrade after. Okay, let's keep going through here. Got a bag. What's in the bag? I don't know. Let's find out. Ooh. Lansky. Knife sharpener. Ceramic. Diamond tapered carbide. Got some uh, flattened duct tape. Ah, this is something I found in another video. This is very important in the urban setting. This is a key that will access all different types of... Uh, water outlets. So if you come across an industrial building and you got to get some water but it's locked off, you just slip through and you go, uh, oh, okay, it's this one. Oh, no, it's, uh, oh, it's that one. You know, and then you can access some water. So that was a good, nice little add to the kit that I'm pretty happy about. Um, these are just some little zip ties. You can use these for a million and a half things. And this is a fire steel. Start a fire. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Hmm. Got a Crown Royal bag. I think I know what's going on here. Let's take a look. Oh, yes. Couple of bucks. Couple of bucks. You know, if the grid's down, it might be nice to have a couple of bucks as you encounter people. A couple of bucks might come in real handy. So yeah, it's good to have something like that on your main kit. This is a, a over-the-shoulder carrier if you wanted to wear the bag like that. No. Coffee. Some filters. Now look, nothing is going to lift your spirits like some coffee, especially if you've been through some shit. All right? Think about some of the creature comforts. Just think about it. It can come in very handy for you. You know, maybe we're only trying to get out of something for a couple of hours. Now this, these are some uh, plastic gloves, some latex gloves in another little baggie. Just tucked away, neat, easy, quick to grab if you need it on the outside. Let's go into the rest of this, shall we? And we have an update. We're going to give this container, this pack.
package, I'm going to get a few Cliff Bars. It's really important that you go through your supply and, and make sure that you're swapping out batteries, expiration dates, updating phone numbers. It's so crucial. <laughs> it's so crucial. Just like, so, you know, you can't have a vehicle and just leave it unattended to for a while. You gotta, you gotta keep that battery charged. You gotta keep the fluids moving through it. You know, you can't just leave stuff as it is and expect it to be the same way that you left it. So, regular maintenance of your gear, whether that's whether you're a golfer, um, um, a mechanic, a prepper, doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, you gotta maintain your equipment. Okay, moving on. Now let's take a look in the main component here. Let's see what we have. This is an inhaler. A gas mask. I'm sorry, a dust mask. Sanitation kit. You got some uh, Clorox disinfecting wipes. You have some Charmin wipes. You have some anti-itch cream hydrocortisone. In case you got some small cuts and stuff. What do you know? A few more cliff bars that have just been trained out for new cliff bars. Oh, that's a cool little thing. Got a carabiner um, attached to this. This is a waterproof container. And inside, ooh, this is where you may want to have a USB device with all of the stuff that you need on it. If you got a grab and go, all of your digital stuff, all your most important things, all stored away, tucked away, padded inside of a waterproof container in your little bag, might not be the worst idea in the world, because once again, think of the 20 people closest to you, your relatives, your friends, your family, uh, locations, businesses. How many phone numbers can you recite off the top of your head? Go. I'll wait, because you're not going to do well on this quiz. Unless you're one of the exceptional few. Okay, we got a bag here. Get to the bag in a second. Oh, another cliff bar. Boom. Okay, that works. What else? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, this container is clear. Let's go into the bag. So inside of that packet, had this frost. It's a good to uh, put on your belt once again. This is a uh, wonderful little device. It's a great knife. This will cut your seat belts in case you're trapped in a car accident and you're stuck somewhere and you gotta just get out of there quick. This will punch out a window. Um, it's designed to crack the tempered glass if you're stuck in a car that's taking in water, what have you. So those are pretty cool components of this knife. I do like her a lot. Don't tread on me. Oh, there you go. Don't tread on me. But it's a wonderful knife. Uh, very useful, very good. Only like 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon. I end up getting about 10 of them, give them to friends and family. Um, got a little toothbrush. Got this, I gotta switch out. I'm gonna switch brands. Probably something like Tom's. Got a little tweezer kit. Uh, Burt's Bees. Man, if you're in the, the, the cold or the hot, uh, the, the dry, <laughs> I mean, you, you, you get cracked lips, man. That, that stuff is just going to bother you and bother you. One of those little things that can really mess you up. Um, got some shower gel wrapped up in a container. Probably swap that brand out as well. This is a little, and that's it. So here's a little tin that I keep with a couple of hair ties, multi-purpose here. Let's see what's inside here. All right, so this is like a little EDC kit. I'll show you what I have inside of this, the ginger mints container. Uh, just a little bit of padding for whatever reason, just to kind of keep this from shifting around too much. Got a bunch of quarters. Uh, keep them taped together. You know, five or six. One, two, what is that? One, two, three. Four, five, yeah, about five or six. Sorry, still didn't count it. Don't care that much. Um, some hearing plugs, some ear plugs. Man, if, if, <laughs> if this comes, if this is something that could be a creature comfort that'll help you, man, so be it. Uh, gotta have a little lighter. You also have to have a little Niagara Falls nail clipper. You just gotta go. It's pretty astonishing to see.
Is it zooming? Why is it not zooming? Here we go. How about that? Niagara Falls. Sorry, spending way too much time on that. But, you know, it's just your standard clipper. And then these, I just, I love these. These are multi-purpose. They, they can link a lot of things together. They can snap a lot of things closed. Um, they're just these little binder clips. So this is just a tiny little EDC example. Yours may vary. Yours should vary. This is kind of a strange one. Um, I've, I've made about 30 of these, and they all have different stuff in them. You know, some of them have uh, bobby pins or uh, sewing needles. Some of them have... $20 bills, some of them have, you know, whatever, because a lot of different stuff you can put. But anyway, that's what I like. I like having something like an everyday carry kind of thing, and then some other, other toil toiletries over here. So we're going to wrap up this bag and move along to the big guy. Hang on, let's get the big guy. Yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, here we go. Okay, so over here, I just have a pin that makes a little bit of noise, so I should take it off, but it's just a little way for me to identify this. Of course, if I needed to, I'd pop it right off. This is some paracord on a keychain attached to the outside of it. Also attached on the outside of it are some gloves. Um, got some hardened, got some hardened uh, knuckles if you got to squeeze up and knock through a few things. Um, you definitely want to keep yourself protected. Um, once again, urban setting. I mean, gloves are helpful anywhere, but I mean, if you're getting through rubble, debris, glass, metal, you know, you're going to want gloves. On the outside, I also have one of these. You got a clean canteen, insulated canteen. Pretty nice. You want to have something that you can fill up, something durable, something sturdy. This might be a little heavier than I'm hoping for, so at some point I might trade this out with something else. Um, but I did want to get a good one. I just wanted to get a nice one. So anyhow, further addressing what's going on out here, you can keep many different items attached on the outside of your bag. So right here, let's see what we got. Lighter, easy access. Right on the outside, you got to start a fire right there. Let's go over here, boom. Easy, ac Oop. easy access. Lighter. You know, so first one you can light something. This one you can light something up with. So, you know, I'm trying to go for, if I just got to reach around on the outside. Okay, once again, it's another lighter. Redundant. Kind of totally unnecessary. But if you're with a group of people, you know, hey, it's good to have a couple of little things that could come in handy. You know? Maybe they have some little things that could come in handy for you, too. I'm going to Builder's Bar. Check the expiration. Yep, time for this to go too. But I don't have anything to trade it out with, so I'll have to do that later. Um, got a bunch of these little uh, Propel Zero, Gatorade, little pouches if you got to filter some water and it might taste a little funky. Um, have a bandana, multi purpose if you got to filter dust out of your lungs, if you have to filter water for all the particulate and start sifting it and getting through that. Um, and then a hand warmer. Okay, so you should need that. Also, attached here, is a Sharpie. You know, if you happen to be somewhere and you want to scribble something on the wall, Brian was here, you know, going to our spot, meet me on Tuesday. You know, what if you didn't have this? What are you, seriously, what are you going to build, <laughs> get a bunch of stones and write your message out like you've seen it above an island? <laughs> That's not going to work. So, communication will be key. Moving along. More food. More food. So, a couple meal bars. This is Pro Knot. This is all of these different kind of knots and what they could be used for. You know, I mean, in case you're a little rusty on your Boy Scout skills. Man, something like this could come in handy. Oh, just look it up on my Google phone. I'll look on my iPhone. What if there's no reception? What if you broke your phone? What if your phone got drenched in water when you got submerged somehow? Now what? This could be really important for you. And then also in here. Boom. Very redundant now. Now we have two of these, but I'll show you. This is a different one. This is your Leatherman Wingman. So let's see what this one does. I think this one's a little sturdier. It's 
got the spring loaded pliers. Yeah, we, we got scissors. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, flathead and a Phillips. What do we got? What do we got? Bottle opener, file. Okay, what the heck is this thing? What's this for? That's what you used to get into a can, right? So what's this? All right. Leave a comment. What is this thing on the Leatherman Wingman? What the heck is it? What does it do? So anyhow, it's a really good piece of equipment. You know, if you need a multi-tool to sit, if you need a multi-tool in a pinch, um, it'd be really nice to have a nice one instead of like a something you got at the the dollar shop. You know, something you found on clearance somewhere, um, which is fine to have, and in a lot of cases. You know, they'll do the same, they'll serve the same purpose, but, you know, if it comes down to it, you know, don't risk it. Spend a little extra in advance. So I got a bunch of paracord here, if you have to build a shelter. Very, very helpful, very useful. And then, got another light. Oh, but guess what, it ain't working. So here, let's check it. Nope, not good. See what we did? This is what you're not supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be storing your batteries in there. So I'm not even going to take this out just yet but the battery has corroded and we have to deal with that so moving forward I think the battery should be next to it not inside of it uh, I know that <laughs> the cool thing about this it has a little loop I'm not gonna do it because all this stuff's gonna get all over but uh, then you can hang it from stuff but anyhow um, all right, gotta swap that out you know that one's probably far no that no probably that is far superior to this but this can get me around if I'm trying to find something, you know, this will get me there. Um, that's why there's that adage, if you have two, you have one. If you have one, you have none. You know, if I was counting on that right there, you know, where would I be? So for the people that, that think it's a little redundant, it's a little unnecessary to have some of this stuff, just think, this is the worst case scenario. Wouldn't you like to have it? So anyway, we'll put this stuff back and we'll continue looking through the bag. All right, continuing to look through the bag. Let's go into this outer zipper now. There we go. It's a very well built bag, mind you. So let's take a look here. This I think is one of the most important items. <laughs> Not an old sock. There's a reason for that. This is a solar panel. You can attach it to the outside of your backpack and lock it in. I put some extra carabiners and clips on here so that you can do that. But you can walk around and you can charge your device. You plug it in up here with your USB. So you want to make sure you have the right adapters as your phones change. Um, constantly be looking for that. Um, and then this is if I if I hang the phone on the outside um, somehow through one of these uh, bobby pins or what have you, I don't want it cooking in the sun or, or this it'll provide a pouch. It's white, it's reflective, it'll give it a pouch so it doesn't overheat. So, anyway, might seem a little wacky, but there's a rhyme and a reason to it, I swear to you. So listen, one more point on this uh, solar panel charger. You know, there are different types of situations to prepare for. Some of them are going to be cataclysmic, some of them will be temporarily annoying. You might want to have a plan for both. That's kind of all I'm getting at there. Obviously, if the grid's down, the world's on fire, and split in two by a massive earthquake, fine, so be it. You know, if there's no, if there's no grid to speak of, then don't worry. That, that's, that's the least of your worries. Um, in here, just got an extra pair of socks. Once again, temporarily, one of the best things you can have there's a couple of creature items that'll that'll give you some comfort. Um, this is just some some tools, um, some explanations of best practice on how to sharpen and clean the sharpener and clean the knives and you know so that everybody can be doing it the right way. So some extra little baggies and a couple extra big bags. Never know when those things could come in handy. In here, uh, got some more duct tape. More duct tape. 
Yes, redundant. Duct tape, duct tape. This is a little notepad if you needed to write something and leave a message. And it's also a telephone list, so you might want to fill it in. Um, Multi-purpose there. Oh, this thing's really cool. It's credit card size. But... Ooh, how does this work? Hang on. Oh, there we go. But it's also a knife. That's pretty darn cool. And it locks in, kind of snaps together. Ah, yes. A tiny little deck of playing cards. Could come in real handy if you're trying to pass some time. Sometimes it's the little things that'll get you through. You know, don't don't discount how important it is to have high spirits. You know, because a lot of this stuff is mental. If you're trying to get through a tough situation, you got to have the mental toughness, the intestinal fortitude. Okay, this is a snap light. The other cool thing about these, at the end, it has these little hooks. You can tie some paracord through there, give it a knot. You can swing it around, and then you get a big circle going. And so at nighttime, if you want to attract attention from a long ways away, this can do that. Or it can temporarily light up an area. If your car breaks down and you're in a dangerous spot, you want to kind of put a flare out for people to see. A couple extra Sharpies. Never have too much communication. Pocket reference. This one is from Pussifer. <laughs> Uh, from the same guy, Maynard James Keenan, who brought you the lyrics, Learn to swim, see you down in Arizona Bay. This is the pocket reference. Everything you need to know about everything in here. Mm. Helpful if the grid's down. So in here, <clears throat> you got some spoons. You got some tin foil that you can use for a multitude of things. Maybe I could do a whole segment on how to work with tin foil. Um, and just some napkins. So you got some items here that could come in handy. All right, and that concludes this. Let's open up the other pouch. Okay, on the side of the pouch, you'll see here that I have a knife. Do, of course, have a fire steel again. Tucked away right here. Easy use if you got to get to it, and if you got to get to it quick. And then right here, we have... BK7. It's a K bar. It's a very sturdy, solid blade all the way through. Multi purpose. It's, it's, it's a very sturdy knife. So I choose to keep that on here as well. Um, something else that we want to keep quickly accessible is this cool little pouch right here up on the top. And inside, you have a container. There we go. Inside of the pouch. Have these. Some good glasses that can give you some protection against dust and other elements. Um, put this at the top, you know, once again, in case you're fiddling around in the dark and you got to get something to protect yourself quick. You know, your eyes are one of the most important things you're going to need to protect. Uh, Pretty much everything else we do is dependent on being able to see what it is that we're doing. So, anyhow, I wanted to point that out. Also, if you wear glasses, you should have an extra pair of glasses. If you have contacts, you should have an extra pair of contacts. So, going into the main pouch here. Let's show you what we got. Got a little standalone container. It's got some extra cables, some extra cords. And some head buds, earbuds, head buds, headphones, earbuds. Up in here, have a little. Oh, let's check it out. Here's the volume. Yep. Still working. It's a radio. Just in case of emergency, you know? 
And then right here, what could this be? It's very well protected. It's a battery. This should probably be charged from time to time. It's a good device to have. You're going to want to keep it protected. Because if the grid's just temporarily down and you're just a phone call away from help, man, would you feel silly if you didn't have the means to charge up? Yeah, you know, think about it. So, anyway, that's what's in here. Moving on, I have another container here. I'll show you what's inside this tough built container. This is electronics. <clears throat> so, here's where I have some extra. Um, supplies these would be more of the tin foil more of the napkins but on the inside here you see that black thing in the middle that is my here let me show you. it's my old phone <laughs> with the anti-1984 spyware um, but this can be charged up this can be charged up in an emergency situation once again, if you have one, you have none. If you have two, you have none. If you have two, you have one. Fool me once. <laughs> um, but no, these, these can be charged up and 911 will work. If you're in that type of an emergency, 911 will still work. So that's important to know. If you damage your regular phone, wouldn't it just be nice? You know? I mean, it's, it's a tiny little thing. Oh, this thing is fantastic. I think it was 20, 25 bucks on Amazon. I, should, I really should link it. It's an LED headlamp. Oh man, is it brutal. It is just fantastic. It is one of the brightest headlamps I've seen. 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Get a headlamp. You want your hands free if you're doing certain things. Some more cords and cables. Charger for this headlamp. Um, See what's in here. Car charger, other charger adapter, adapter for the phone. So this is just basically an electronics kit. You know, this is a little bit of overkill, but it's cords and wires and cables and extra cell phones and uh, headlamps. But I'm telling you, if you need this stuff, man, are you going to be happy you have it? Let me tell you. You're going to be really happy that you have it. So anyway, let's put this aside and keep going through the rest. Okay, moving along, we got a few things in here. Got some cargo pants. I mean, if you need change your clothes, ooh, wouldn't that be helpful? Wouldn't that be helpful? A little bit of food, some beef jerky. Might want to check that out at some point too. Water bladder, very good to have. This is in the water bladder pouch. I got some more jerky. This one's sriracha. <laughs> and a couple of maps. You know your local area. You know just a couple of maps, wrapped in plastic. So if there's no Google Maps. Are you gonna know where you're at? Seriously, are you gonna know where you're at? And how important do you think it is? I think it's crucially important. Inside of here, wrapped in tubing, so here's an extra pair of socks just because, all right? Okay, redundant, I know, I get it. But protected in that cardboard tube is a life straw. You're not going to get very far without water, so you got a water bladder, you got a life straw, you got a chance, okay? That's kind of the most important, <laughs> one of the most important things you can do is make sure that you have access to clean water. That would just be ridiculous to expect water fountains and bottled, bottles of water to be plenty, plentily available. To be available all over the place in a catastrophe. Nope, as water goes, people go. And if you're dependent on someone to give you your water, man, you're a sitting duck. You've lost your power. So you might just want to be careful. You might want to think about that. So anyhow, I keep that protected inside of a 
cardboard tube because it's that crucial. It's I want an insurance policy on the water. So let's see what else. Got a med kit. Man, I could do a whole show on this. Let's do that. Okay, so inside the med kit, let's go through what we got. Got a five hour energy. Got some latex gloves. Got some pills, some multivitamins, some allergy tablets, some ibuprofen, what have you. Some neosporin. Potassium iodide in case there's radi a radioactive event. This is very important right after um, a radioactive incident. Uh, for use in radiation emergencies only. Blocks the absorption of harmful radioactive iodine by your thyroid. Consider this. This can be used for an obvious purpose or it could be used to fill up water. Um, it would expand mightily and you can transport it. If you don't have a container, this is a tiny little container that can expand uh, like an enormous water balloon. Something worth considering. Continuing on. Got some 3M tape. Have some more hearing protection. This is water purification. If you need it. Sure would be nice. Sure would be nice to make sure you're drinking clean, healthy water. Um, got some extra air masks, dust masks, breathing masks. Um, these things are great. Ginger chews. Ginger will naturally aid in digestion. So if you're not getting enough water anyway, um, something like this might help your system out naturally. And then on this side, this is wound seal powder for minor external bleeding. Stops bleeding instantly. So, you know, just in case, that's what you do. You go like that, and then you pour it in, and then you press it down, okay? Next side. Okay, so now on this other side, I have a few other items. Let's go through them. Some iodine swab sticks, antiseptic. Got some Alka-Seltzer Plus, flu formula. Because once again, if you're not doing well, you know, there's some little things that just might, be, might, might make you feel temporarily better. And that might be all you need to get that uh, energy to function at a high enough level to get you out of a bad situation. Just some sort of temporary fix, you know? Literally putting a band-aid on it. You know, get some different sizes. Um, you're going to want them for different, different reasons. Because if you don't have the right kind of cleaning availabilities, uh, you could really end up in a problem. You could really have a problem. Um, and that's why I keep some alcohol prep pads. Keep things clean. If you suffer a wound, get in there, clean it out. You got some liquid adhesive here. Pretty helpful. Just in case. You know, all this stuff is just in case. You're not hoping to use any of it. You're hoping you spend a lot of time uh, thinking about this stuff for no particular reason, but you know, anyhow, some Tums, antacid, and a whole bunch of these, just because they come in so darn handy, some bobby pins, um, they can dig out splinters, they can attach, you know, a whole bunch of, if you're wrapping something, they can attach it to a few different places and hold it on there, if you're having to use your bandana, as something makeshift, um, here's some basic first aid instructions, once again, you know, th this should probably be in plastic though, um, in some sort of container. And then inside of here we have some scissors. Rounding out this side of the kit. Some stereo strips. Different sizes. Non adhering dressing. Some bandages. Some cotton sponges that could serve as maxi pads as well, if necessary. So, you know, we have options. You have some tools at your disposal to try to get cleaned up, stay cleaned up, 
and make sure that a little cut doesn't turn into a big nasty infection. I mean, if you're not able to get attention, get help for a few days, that's the last thing you want to run into is something, something simple that could take you down. So that is the med kit. Moving on, I do have a zipper pouch here. I'll let you see it attached here. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so this is um, a name tag if I want to use it and attach it to my equipment in case of emergency. Here's how you find me, written on the other side. This is a mirror. Ooh. Wait, what am I looking at? What is that? Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun. Okay, so anyway, that's a mirror. Helpful for signaling. Emergency blanket. Once again, reflective as well. You know, because if someone's flying a plane and you can do this, you know, you're going to be radiate. That'll sh shimmer in their eye. It'll, it'll catch their interest and go, hmm, what is that? Oh, these are, I just kept these in here. Instructions on how to use the crank radio, how to use the Leatherman. Oh, I guess this will tell you. Hold on, what is that piece? Okay, that's a lanyard ring. All right, got it. But what's that other piece? Okay, I think it was on the other one. I don't know what that one is. Anyway, you can still comment. But yeah, I'll, I, I keep these in here for two reasons. One, because it's helpful to have the information if, you know, say I die and the person next to me needs to figure it out. We'll open it up and take a look, see what you have. Um, well, and for me, it's a refresher, too. I'm, not, I'm no expert. I just do what I can. Um, <clears throat> but it also provides a little bit of protection. It gives you some sort of rigidity, some st uh, sturdiness of having something that's cardboard to kind of protect uh, the components. So... That's pretty neat. So anyway, that's what I like about it. Um, you know, you don't you don't want to have your mirror getting busted. So you kind of back back to back these things, and they they become a little stronger in tandem than they would be on their own. So that's that. Um, on the side here, yeah, this is that four way key. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. I just kept it in the container. But this is the four way key. They call it the. Uh, yeah, just the four-way key for different sizes. I'm telling you, this could be an absolute lifesaver if you're trying to get water and it's all around you, but you can't access it. What what a what a thing that would be! How annoying that would be, huh? Okay, so here's another pouch. Let's see what's inside of here. Okay, let's take a look. So here's some personal hygiene items, some dental floss, man. If you're going months and not being able to clean those teeth out, you could have some problems, some cavities that could get really bad. Um, you got some uh, tablets here. These are fiber tablets. Help keep things moving right along, if you know what I mean. In here you got your toiletry items, you got some lotion, you got some hand sanitizer, you have some shampoo, you have some shower gel, you have some soap. Um, you know, useful to have. And then over here, got one of my backup retainers. Um, it's just one of those things that are helpful if you got to be if you got to be away from your home base for a while. Those things are good to sleep with for night guards. If you, you know, depending on your situation, but. I want to try to keep my teeth as aligned as possible. So in here, got another one. Um, got an inhaler. Got some deodorant. Might switch that out. Toothbrush. Nail clipper. And all smashed down inside of here. This is just a, a green, nondescript uh, shirt. It's like an Indiana Jones button-up shirt. Um, just a regular old shirt. You know, the good thing about that is um, you know, if you got to blend in, if you got to get out of Dodge and you got to take a hike, as it were, you, there's a concept called the gray man. You want to be just, you want to blend in. You don't want to stand out too much. Um, you know, this back is pro probably a little too uh, military uh, to stand out. You probably want something, just looks like you're a college student. Maybe not with a big knife hanging off of it. Obviously, that could be adjusted, but um, the gray man concept is really designed for. Uh, just getting 
in and out of places without calling too much attention to yourself. You know, that can be unnecessary. Um, not just unnecessary, straight up dangerous. You know, it could be it could be life or death. The difference between being remembered and being forgotten. You know, there are obviously situations where you're going to want to be remembered. But in most of them, well, I don't even know about most, but let's just say there's a whole lot of circumstances and situations where it's going to be in your best interest to be forgotten and be forgotten quick. So that's something to consider. Um, but hey, I want to thank you for checking out my bug out bag video. You know, <laughs> a lot of stuff in here. And, uh, you know, constantly trying to figure out what's necessary, what's not. Can I thin it out? You know, maybe I could set a personal goal of getting rid of uh, 20 items for, for next time. I can think of 10 right off the top of my head. I could probably, could probably do without. Um, you know, got to maintain and repair some stuff. You know, got to make sure I'm not storing these with their batteries again. Uh, so that you're protecting the gear that you currently have. Um... It's a learning experience. It's a learning process. So, you know, you're never really done. It's never like, oh, good, I got, I got my stuff. I'm, I'm prepped. I'm good. Ready to go camping. Ready to bug out of the city. You know, you, you might never really be done. Well, I can tell you this much. I'm not done now because I'm gonna have to zip this thing up. Um, but hey, thanks for watching. I'm gonna give you some more of these. I'm making a few different packs. Keep different things in different locations. And we definitely want your input and advice on this. So until next time, get a plan, be prepared, stay safe, peace. You can edit that last part out.